In this video, we're going to cover the common fracture patterns that occur in the paediatric population. Because paediatric bones are softer than adult bones and more malleable, the types of fractures that you get can be quite different. I'd just like to thank Dr. Karen Landers and all the radiology consultants at Alderhey Hospital in Liverpool for the use of these images. Specific to paediatric population, there's three main types of fracture patterns. The first one is green stick fractures. Secondly, you've got torus or buckle fractures. And then thirdly, you've got Salter Harris fractures. So we'll go through each of these in detail now. Green stick fractures are incomplete fractures along the convex margin of long bones. So for instance, in this diagram here, we can see that instead of a complete fracture, which you'd see in the adult population, because of the malleability of the bone, you get an incomplete fracture along the convex margin, as seen here. Torus or buckle fractures occur due to axial loading injuries, which cause incomplete fractures of the long bone shaft. On an x-ray, you'll see subtle cortical angulation or deformity, and this diagram demonstrates what kind of appearance you're looking for. And this is the bump or the angulation you're looking for. There's five types of Salter Harris fractures. These are fractures of the growth plate, and a nice way of remembering all five types is the mnemonic Salter. So that's Salter without the E. Type one is slipped growth plate, so the fracture goes actually through the growth plate. Type two, A for above goes through the growth plate, as before, but also goes through the metaphysis. This is the most common type of Salter harris fracture. Type 3, L for lower, it goes through the growth plate and goes through the epiphysis. T, type 4 for through, goes through both the metaphysis, the growth plate, and also the epiphysis. Lastly, type 5, R for rammed, is a fracture through the growth plate in which there is impaction and this is quite a serious injury. Starting with this first case which is an x-ray of a forearm in a paediatric patient we can see there is a lucent line going through the distal ulna and there's some angulation of the ulna as well. As it's not going across the whole of the shaft this is in keeping with a green stick fracture. second case. On this wrist x-ray you can see that the distal radius looks abnormal. There are subtle irregularities in the cortex and this is due to an axial loading injury in keeping with a torus or a buccal fracture. Again on this x-ray we can see a similar cortical bump or irregularity in the posterior cortex of the proximal phalanx of this digit again in keeping with a torus or buccal fracture. Looking closely at this other lateral wrist x-ray, a similar appearance is seen on the anterior cortex of the radius, just here, and here is where the buccal fracture is. Looking at this lateral ankle x-ray, what may catch your eye is the calcaneum, which looks rather fragmented and sclerotic. However, this is actually quite a common mimic of fractures in the paediatric population, and this is the normal appearance of the calcaneal apophysis, and it can catch people out, um, so just be aware of that. When you look closely at the rest of the x-ray, we can see there is a fracture in the distal tibia seen just here going through the metaphysis and then actually going through the growth plate. So this is in keeping with a Salter Harris type 2 fracture, which we said before was the most common type of Salter Harris fracture. Looking at this forearm x-ray, if we just zoom up to the wrist, we can see that there is a definite displaced fracture there. And again, it's going through the actual growth plate and some of the metaphysis is involved as well. Again, this is in keeping with a Salter Harris type 2 fracture of the distal radius this time. So here we've done a whistle-stop tour of the common types of uh, fracture patterns that you see in the paediatric population that you don't see in the adult population, and I hope it's been useful.